Hi, I'm Vicky. I'm glad you're here. Today I'll be showing you how to make a herb posy and some gift tags or bookmarks with herbs on them to go with the posy as a gift. I found a packet of 12 blank gift cards at the dollar store and these are made of craft and I like the little scallop top on them. They were very inexpensive so I thought oh they would make some nice gift tags or bookmarks. I have some stamps that were very small in size and they're part of one of my favourite stamp sets that I've recently purchased on Amazon. There are eight different stamps in the one set or eight different sheets of stamps in the one set and this is by the Zone On brand so it's eight sheets of stamps for scrapbooking and one of the sheets has tiny little herb posies on it. I thought these would make sweet little gift tags or bookmarks. I'm going to stamp them on using VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. I'm just wiping around that block because I did get some ink on the edge of it. And I'm going to very carefully stamp this on a stamping mat. If you didn't have a stamping mat, you could use a mouse pad. You can see how pretty these are. There's a vanilla plant and it has lovely fine details. So I'm going to make six of these. And when you stamp using photopolymer stamps, you want to hold the stamp down for quite a few seconds. I usually leave it sitting on there for about three seconds and then lift it up again. They're rather different than using rubber stamps. Rubber stamps will stamp directly onto something. But because this is craft card stock, it is a little bit more absorbent than regular smooth card. So you can see the fine detail. I think these stamps are really lovely. And because they're such a small size, they were ideal for these small tags. Now I missed a spot on this. So I'm going to bring in the stamp sheet as a reference and my ultra fine Sharpie and I'm going to fill in those parts that I missed. So I've just put some white paper under that sheet that shows you the images on the stamp. And I'm going to pop that down there and just draw in some of those leaves and stems that didn't stamp. And I probably didn't have quite enough ink on the stamp at the time. And I probably did not leave it to sit on the mat for long enough. So you need to give photopolymer stamps a chance to soak in. And that's fine. I fixed that problem, no worries. I'll show you how I turn these into bookmarks. Using some tassels. Just wiping off around the edge there to make sure there's no ink and letting it sit for a few seconds before I lift up. And I just missed a couple of little stems, but that was easy enough to fill in. I'm using a stylus to poke through the holes in the top, or you could use the end of a sharp pencil. That would work as well if you don't have a stylus. This is actually part of my scoring board I'm using. Now they need a tassel 
or some ribbon. I'm going to use these gorgeous tassels that I have ready to make lots of bookmarks. They're really lovely silky tassels and as soon as I saw them I just had to have them. They come in lots of different colours and I think there's about 200 of them so that's a lot of bookmarks or a lot of gift tags that I can use them for. So you just push the loop through from the front and then pop it through the end of the tassel and that creates your bookmark ready to go. Or these would also work as lovely little gift tags. These would be great for Christmas gift tags too. They come in lots of different colours, so I was able to use a different colour for each tag, which was nice. And I thought it would be a nice idea to make a herb posy and use one of these tags to give it to a friend. I do have a lovely herb garden, so I've been down to pick some herbs and I have some curry plant, I have some sorrel, some oregano, there's some more curry plant, some thyme, the thyme is flowering at the moment, which is lovely. There's a nice big bunch of sage and I have some parsley. and some tarragon and some rocket. There's a little rocket flower as well there. And I have coriander and I have marjoram. So to make a posy, you'll need some twine. And this is just twine I use in the kitchen for baking. And I'm going to cut a fairly long piece because I thought this could either be a bouquet that you pop into a glass of water and sit on your counter for cooking, or you could actually hang it by the string and have some dried herbs. So I'm just taking them individually, putting the largest herbs into the center. And repositioning them. And I want that sorrel to be at the back. That will be the back of the bouquet. And then the smaller ones can just go in individually where there's a space moving around towards the front and creating a nice full bouquet shape. And I'm holding it tightly in one hand to keep the shape together. And then I'm going to bring in that twine and I'm going to start by wrapping it quite tightly around the stems because I don't want them to slide out. And I'm doing it several times, as you can see, and pulling it quite tight. And I have a long length left on the end of this posy so that it can be hung from the ceiling and dried, or it can be used in a glass of water and sat on the kitchen bench to be used for cooking. Now I'm just teasing it out so that it has a bit of a broader head on it. And there's the posy done. And here's some bookmarks. And I'm going to actually use one of these as a gift tag to go with the posy. I found a lovely book which I think is a Zentangle book, which has some lovely illustrations in it just to show you what they look like in a book. So there's a close up and here's what they look like sitting on the bench. That little posy waiting to be used for cooking and they smell divine. 
Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my videos, do so already. Click on that bell and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.